Today, Hound. Here is War for Cybertron Siege Hound. And here is the box. Oh, this is the this is the Netflix one. So it has the shittier paint. So yeah, um, if you see the shitty paint one and you're thinking about getting it, here it is. So it's like a white box that says Netflix on it. And yeah. And there's the Teletran one thing. Or yeah. And there's Hound on the back. I don't have the gun, it broke. And yeah, so there's the box. And for um from um, for the figure, here he is in his car mode. And uh I really like the car mode. I think it, it fits together really nicely. And I like the transformation. It's very fun. Um his leg splits in half for me though, so it's kind of annoying. But I can see, you know, how it would transform because you know one of the sides isn't like loose but yeah um i have some clay right here because i was doing stop motion and i was making him walk around and stuff so yeah and i'm not even gonna bother trying to get that out of there but yeah dude um details he's got some green like everywhere uh he's got some gold and an autobot symbol and some more gold on the arms that are peeking out and um yeah, I think his accessories are way less painted. I think he's a lot less painted than the original. So people didn't like that. But um, I think this is supposed to be more accurate to the actual Netflix show. So that's why he looks different. But yeah, a lot of people are just like, whatever, dude. And they just, they're like, this one sucks because it doesn't have paint. But I don't have the original. So um, yeah, I don't really care. As long as I have the mold, you know, I'm fine. But, um, yeah, that's it for your, your details. And we'll do a size comparison. So, or first we got to do a roll test. He rolls. You can also take the guns off. And we'll use those. We'll, we'll uh, talk about the guns later. Let's take those off. I don't know why this isn't plugging in. That's probably a me thing, not the figure. Um, here is Funko Pop Prime. Here is some mini cons. And, shit, whatever. Here are some crayons. So, yeah, there's your comparison. Um, you probably don't have crayons, so, you know, you don't really have a good idea there. But, yeah, um, you probably have Funko Pops, because those are popular. But, there's your size comparison, and um, we'll just look at the accessories. So, he's got this gun. And it's uh, it's kind of like a rocket launcher or like a, a blaster or what. I don't know. But it looks really cool. And I like it a lot. And here is the drum mag that would have gone on his gun. But I don't have the gun because it broke. And then I just lost the broken, the broken thing. So, yeah. There's your accessories. And um, let's get him in his robot mode. So you want to flip the feet out. A lot of times I forget to flip them in and then he just kind of has doors, which still looks pretty cool, but flip those out and then you um, unpeg his pieces like that and you flip them out a little bit, get them out of the way. Shit, this is what I'm talking about. Mine's like really loose, but it's still like the most fun part when you turn them into a car. Um, yeah, so... Do that, fold that up, and then what are we doing? We put the arms up to unpeg them. Okay, we're just gonna keep that off because that's just goddamn annoying. Um, flip the legs down and then fold them out. I'm just being so rough. I'm always rough with my figures. I bet you guys are like, yikes, but I don't care. Um, uh, the leg, it goes like that. And you flip the feet up, and you just do stuff like that, and it's like that. You plug that in right there. Um, there's a little uh, groove that will plug into that notch, and you put that in like that. And I think we're done. I flip his hands out. I I don't think that's part of the transformation, but I like to flip the the this side out. Because it looks more like a car and you don't see his hands as much. 
you all see the fingers. Um, so there's just robot mode. And I really like it. Um, I really would prefer like the generation sound, like the, the regular generation sound. But, you know, I kind of prefer all of the generations over the Siege ones. Because the Siege ones are just kind of like G1 again. And then we got Legacy and then G1 again. And it's kind of like, I don't know, it's just not a big fan. I'm a big fan of these fucking calf wheels. I always think the calf wheels are really cool looking. I really like it a lot. It's one of those little things that makes you go, yeah, that's a that's a transformer. But yeah, I think that's cool. And it it's like you would never guess that these are the front and back wheels. You're like you just look at them and you're like, how? How do those become the front wheels? How's that even possible? And it's just I love it. It's awesome. Um so we'll get his shoulder cannon on for his complete look. Um this guy has a has a hot shot repaint and like hot shot is like probably one of my favorite autobots i don't really have a favorite because i just i keep changing it all the time because i just love love all of them but um i might get the hot shot repaint and i might review it even though it's the same mold but like i just i don't know i really like it i really like hot shot the legacy hot shot i mean it's cool but i kind of would want the siege hot shot more because it's just kind of unique and cool. But yeah, you, there's not much you could do with this when you don't have the gun. But I guess you could like put it right here and then do that if you want. But that always kind of like makes me feel like shit. I just need the hound to have the, the gun right here, man, or else he's not hound. But yeah, so you could just kind of. You probably didn't break yours, but I'm just going to put that over there. So, I guess we'll do articulation with the gun on, with his complete look. Um, his head turns. Uh, it's kind of hard to get at because you have this bit hanging off right here. And the arms can do a butterfly because of the transformation. And I think that looks cool when you get him, you know, doing cool shit like that. I know this isn't a cool pose, but, like, you can, buddy, okay. But uh, you can flip them all the way around. Um, there's an elbow. There's a wrist. Um, and there's a waist rotation. It goes all the way around. And this kind of unpegs. Uh, the, the legs go forward and backward that far. The knees go pretty far. And the ankles can pivot because of transformation. But it's still a pivot, so it counts. And yeah, so there's your articulations. And um, overall, wait, we didn't look at the detail. Well, the details are like pretty much the same in both modes. But like, yeah, you can see, I think the original, the non-Netflix one had more paint where there's just gray. I'm not sure about that. But um, I'm still happy with it. It's Hound. Uh, I don't care. Uh, but yeah, dude. Um, there's Hound. And I think it's a really solid figure. Like, it's really solid. You could throw this guy at the wall and it won't break. And uh, I think that just tends to be the case with um, the Cybertron Siege guys. Because whenever they make the G1 figures, they're really blocky. And they're, like, really sturdy. Which kind of, you know, it's good. But it's still, like, kind of boring. But, um... Then the movie figures have a lot of shit going on. And for some reason, I feel like... I don't, it's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. But I feel like they make them out of horrible plastic. Like, Studio Series just feels like complete shit to me. I don't know. That's just... I'll still buy them, of course. You know, I like Transformers from the movies. But it's just so fucking bad. Like, the plastic just... And, like, my top spin, he has a, a shoulder panel. I pulled it off once... Because I was making some kind of stop motion or something. Um, I make a lot that I don't upload. And it just like cracked. And I can't put it on now. And I always oriented them so they were up here. I could just get the figure. But like I don't feel like it. Um, but I can't do that anymore. I have to plug it into his arm. Because it's cracked and broken. And then you know like I showed you the Jeep Bumblebee. You know how I feel about that. And um, yeah I just think. So far, my experience with Studio Series, I only really had Deluxes, so that would make sense. 
they just kind of suck. I mean, especially that helicopter drop kick, man. That thing is, oh my God, it's terrible. And and um, what's the what's the other one that was pissing me off? I'm trying to look and see from here. Um, shit. Well, I guess we'll just have to skip that because I don't want to sit here and go um um. But yeah, um um um. So that's um, that's the figure, and dude, and yeah, dude, and yeah. There's your review. I think we covered pretty much everything. Oh shit! Size comparison. There you go. There's Optimus and Creo. Uh, is this nose cone or is this nose? That's not nose cone. Or is this nose cone? Um, wait, maybe this is thrust. Is that thrust? I don't know. They made thrust green, and then ah, uh, fucking, I don't know. But yeah, there's your comparison, and yeah, I kind of started ranting in this one, but um, I kind of enjoy myself when I start ranting. I'm probably going to do it more. So yeah, my overall thoughts, I think it's a good hound. It's a good solid hound, and it's it's a good figure too because it's solid and it won't break, and the joints stay tight, and he's just really enjoyable, and I like him. He's good. Um, so the, yeah, I give him a, I'll give him probably a, a 7 out of 10. Uh, I would just say every figure is a 10 out of 10 because I did a little transformers, but yeah. 8 out of, t wait, 7. Yeah, 7 out of 10. That's what I said. Okay. Bye-bye.